Hey guys, in the past I've shared a couple of videos on how I have built my second brain or my knowledge management system in my favorite note-taking application, which is Bear. I have simplified the way I do things a lot since the last time that I talked about this. So today I want to give you an update on how I use Alfred together with the Shortcuts app every single day to capture ideas or thoughts on the go. The point with note-taking for me has been trying to interact with information or knowledge that I am interested in so that I can reflect on it and somehow integrate it all to my own thinking process and make it part of systems that eventually allow me to come up with new content or inspiration for whatever I'm working on. In other words, all of this is for learning, for growing more as a person, and for sharing. Something that is an essential part of this workflow has to do with how to capture information or ideas in a very quick and seamless way, not to distract from whatever I am doing at any given moment. And I'm talking here not only ideas from my mind, but also from different sources I may encounter every day. This is where Alfred and the Shortcuts application come into play. Now, I have several favorite shortcuts that I use with Bear, but only two Alfred workflows. One of them is for searching notes. This one I found online and I will give you the link in the description. But the second one is for capturing notes. And that's what I want to share with you here. Let me show you how it looks in action. I have a note that I use as sort of an inbox. Here it's totally empty and I have it under an inbox tag for organization. Normally, I'll have all windows of Bear closed, but the application is still running in my dock, ready to be activated anytime. I can call Alfred and trigger my workflow with a keyword. In this case, it's letter C. And I can type any text. At this point, I can press enter and my text will go to my inbox note that I showed you. There it is. But I can also do the same and together with enter, I can be pressing shift and it will come up as a pop-up. Or the other option is that I can press the option key together with enter and that will make a new note also tagged as inbox. Or I can mix both options and make a new note come up as a pop-up by pressing option and shift. So there's the option for adding text to my inbox note in the background, adding text to my inbox note as a pop-up, adding text to a new note in the background, or adding text to a new note as a pop-up. It's not so confusing once your memory starts to get used to the modifier keys. But then there's even more. Whenever I am on Chrome or Safari, I can select any text and by using a keyboard shortcut, I can capture my selection in the same way, in the background to my inbox note, as a pop-up to my inbox note, or in the background to a new note, or as a pop-up to a new note. Each time, the captured text will include a link to the source. I also added the same functionality of selecting and capturing text for the Apple Mail application or Spark, giving you a link back to the original email. I do have to mention that the reason that I made this in the first place was because I would often be capturing information from newsletters or from blogs and articles that I was reading online. However, just a couple of months ago, all of my workflow became a lot more simplified because I started using an incredible app called Reader created by a really cool company called Readwise. And you can research about it, but basically it's an app that merges the function of a read it later app together with the function of an RSS reader. They give you an email address so that you can redirect newsletters to their platform. And they give you one place to access everything, including PDFs and books. And this has highlighting functionality built in. So basically this took over everything that I read online and I don't use the selection capture functionality of my Alfred workflow and shortcut I was showing you very often anymore, but it's still there. I think some of you may still need it. Most of all, for me, there's nothing quite like invoking Alfred and just capturing some text like this. Oh, and I forgot to mention my Alfred workflow includes a keyboard shortcut for creating a new note as a pop-up which is different than the default one you can set up in Bear, and I find it less intrusive. Okay, let me say something. You are listening to me use the words Alfred workflow and shortcut, which mean different things. But that's because actually it's just like that. It's an Apple shortcut that is triggered with an Alfred workflow when you're on your desktop. On the other hand, the same shortcut can be triggered on your iPhone to capture text to your same inbox note. Isn't that cool? Basically, it's a bunch of different shortcuts mixed into one. Let me briefly go over the setup. I'm sure with this, everything will make more sense. The links for both files are in the description of the video. 
When you download the shortcut, it will ask you for your inbox note ID, which you can get in Bear. I suggest that you have this as an empty note with its own tag. And then you add the tag in this other space so that whenever you choose to create a new note, this is automatically applied. That's it. You cannot run this shortcut by itself while on desktop, but you can already test it on your phone and it should work fine. Now download the Alfred workflow. When you open the file, you just click install. And the first thing I suggest is that you go in this area, click environment variables, and make sure that this name matches exactly with the name of the shortcut that you just installed. This part should be fine out of the box if you didn't change the name, but if you do, that's where you modify it. Now, here are all the options. I am only giving you the keyword as a preset, so you can already trigger Alfred and capture something. The different options with the modifiers are also here with Shift, Option, or both. You probably won't need to change that, but everything else is up to you. All of this will capture text from your clipboard. There's a short description down here under every option. You can just double click any of them to set it up by adding a hotkey of your preference. And these four are the ones that I showed you that capture selected text. There's one extra one where you select something and it adds it to your clipboard so that you can paste it anywhere, even outside of Bear. And it will still include the link in Markdown. Oh, and this other one is the empty pop-up note that I was telling you. The shortcuts application will probably ask you for some permissions the first time that you run any of these functions with Alfred. As far as I know, there's just no way around that. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or if there's anything in particular you would like to hear more about. As always, thank you so much for your time, guys, and I'll see you soon.